Welcome to the news. The news headline. Grant plan to withdraw Peter Obi's petition against Tinumbu exposed. See those responsible, you will be shocked. Thank you for tuning in to today's news. But don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And for more updates, please click on the bell. And you can as well like this news by clicking on the like button to the news to tips. Please listen carefully. The Labour Party, LP, is experiencing an internal crisis as a result of a new faction that has emerged to challenge the national leadership of the party and undermine the efforts of presidential candidates Dr. Peter Gregory Obi to reclaim his stolen mandates amid the controversy surrendering the February 25 presidential election. It is well known that certain Labour Party members named Lamidi Apapa as the party's acting national chairman after a court order barred Julius Abure from holding himself out as the national chairman. However, in an interview, a senior member of the Labour Party, Comrade Delhi Ajufu, claimed that a papa is a well-known protege of Bola Tinumbu and that he intends to declare his faction to be the genuine Labour Party in addition to withdrawing the court petition, Peter will be fouled to contest Bola Tinumbu's victory on behalf of the APC. In a YouTube video that was posted, Ajufo stated, Lamidi Apapa is a known prodigy of Bola Tinumbu, known to everybody, and he is the one acting as factional chairman of Labour Party. It's pathetic what people will do to malign a fellow human being and to achieve power through the back door. If you're confident of your victory, why don't you celebrate it? Why don't you go celebrating it? Ignore Peter whatever he does. Rather, you are chasing a man who was supposed to have no structure, have not won an election, and the mention of Peter Obi is a nightmare to these cowards. They have, app app applied, they have applied all manners of things. Speaking further, he revealed that they, Tinumbu's camp, blackmailed Geoffrey Onyema, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, to go and do their bidding and launder the image of Bola Tinumbu in America and malign obedience. It turned them down and it was suspended recently from APC for anti-party activities. Consequent upon that, Lai Mohammed went to do the bidding of Bola Tinumbu in America. Going back to the crisis within the Labour Party, he said that the Lamidi Apapa's faction will come and announce that they are now the authentic Labour Party and they have rejoined the case of Labour Party against the results of Bola Tinumbu and they will congratulate Bola Tinumbu's faith accomplice. The news is about the Labour Party whereby crisis as a match within the Labour Party. The factional leader who is supposedly a member, a, a, an ally to Tinumbu and is working with Tinumbu indirectly also. Remember that Peter Obi has dropped and written a petition, different petitions against Tinumbu. And this person that is a factional leader to the Labour Party 
is actually undermining is what the efforts of president candidate Obi. Obi wants to actually recollect, reclaim his stolen mandates. Obi who said who they said that he has no. Obi who they said that he has no is nobody. He has no structure. But within eight months, Obi who is structureless now has structure. At the mentioning of Obi, those politicians, these people shake. So why are you, if you know you won the election on a free and fair platform, why are you scared of Peter Obi? Why are you scared of celebrating your victory? It's pathetic what people would do to malign a fellow human being and to achieve power through the back doors. So now, the, in the Labour Party, the crisis which emerged was the one who is actually working indirectly with Bola Tinumbu. And very soon, you, the, the, the news will circulate that the Labour Party has actually withdrawn the case against Bola Tinumbu. That is why they are working with the so-called faction lead. We have come to the end of the news. What's your take on this? Kindly share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.